What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video on Michigan Sports Talk. And in this one, we got the Michigan versus Michigan State preview video here. I'm gonna be giving my preview and analysis to the game. I'm gonna be going over tons of stats, season leaders, keynotes, and what to expect going into this game. It's all gonna be in this video. So if you guys are under on here, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe for more. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so it's number 4 Michigan, 7-0, and taking on unranked Michigan State, standing at 3-4. This game's on at 7.30 p.m. on ABC uh, at Michigan Stadium in the Big House. Supposed to be a blue out. Should be an amazing atmosphere and a great game. So right away here, the spread is Michigan, 22.5. Uh, let me know uh, if you think Michigan will cover that spread in this game. Obviously, you can comment down below. And the ESPN matchup predictor has Michigan winning with a 90.2% chance to win this one. Michigan, obviously the huge favorite coming, in, coming into this one, has been dominant all season long coming into this one. But Michigan State has struggled. However, they got their first uh, big win against a conference opponent as they beat Wisconsin 34-28, to so they are definitely probably playing their best football up to this point. Michigan leads uh, this rivalry series 71-38, to uh, and five ties have taken place. However, Michigan State has a two-game winning streak. The last time Michigan won uh, was in 2019 in the Big House. They won it 44-10, to and then Michigan State won it last year in East Lansing 37-33. Coming into this one, Michigan fans, players, coaches, they are all coming into this game for revenge because last year was a very, very close game. And there were very high stakes for that game. Both teams undefeated going into that one. So while the tensions will definitely be high in this game, especially a night game, it should be a fun one. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some stats. So all these stats are out of 131 teams, obviously in Division One for college football. Um, we're going to start out here with points per game. Michigan is ranked number 6th in the nation at 42.7 points per game, while Michigan State is ranked at number 79 uh, with 27 points per game. Now for both defenses, Michigan uh, for points allowed per game, Michigan ranked number 3rd with 12.14 points allowed per game. Michigan State ranking uh, at number 74th with 27.14 points allowed per game. And now the next one, Michigan State is actually ahead of Michigan. It is passing yards per game. Michigan coming in at number 74th with 231.9 passing yards per game. Michigan State coming in at number 65 with 242.9 passing yards per game. So out of all these stats, Michigan State, that is their only stat that they lead Michigan in. And it's not really by much. Plus, Michigan likes to run the ball a lot more than passing it. But rushing yards per game, the big one for Michigan, they come in at number 8 with 241.7 uh, rushing yards per game. Now, you might think Michigan, you know, is ranked or would be ranked higher than number 8. But you've got a lot of teams like Navy, uh, Army, Air Force. They're all ahead and in the top five, actually, and then UAB, UCF, Oregon, and Ole Miss are also uh, right above Michigan. But uh, Michigan State comes in at number 116th. Uh, not a good number at all with 106.1 rushing yards per game. They have definitely not really had um, the success they wanted this season uh, for their rushing attack. We'll see how they do against Michigan's. Uh, defense, but Michigan's defense, man, looking at these stats, they are one of the best defenses in the country for sure. So passing yards allowed for both defenses, Michigan comes in at number 6 with 164.1 passing yards allowed per game. Michigan State comes in at an atrocious number 111th with 269 passing yards allowed per game. It's a terrible number, but rushing is not better for them. Uh, rushing yards allowed, Michigan coming in at number 5 with 85.9 rushing yards allowed per game. Michigan State coming in at number 78 with 153.3 rushing yards allowed per game. So those are all the stats that I wanted to talk about. 
Uh, Michigan is the clear leader in all of those except for passing yards per game, which I already talked about. Michigan, obviously, they run the ball a lot more than pass the ball, but that doesn't mean they can't pass the ball. Michigan has definitely passed the ball. They have talented wide receivers to do so, and I actually expect them to take some more deep shots, especially against Michigan State's defense in that uh, not so good secondary of theirs but i will get into that more um in the key notes in my key things to look for into this game let's go ahead and look at some season leaders here obviously for passing yards jj mccarthy he is 111 for 144 attempts which is a really good uh completion percentage uh you know he ranks pretty high in that percentage among quarterbacks uh, for college football, he has a or excuse me, 1,297 passing yards, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Peyton Thorne has 136 completions on 208 attempts with 1,499 yards, 11 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Last game, he definitely did a lot better. Um, you know, he went 21 for 29, 265 yards, two touchdowns, and Michigan State looked a lot better against Wisconsin. Uh, we'll get more into that later. Rushing yard leaders, obviously Blake Corum, the Heisman candidate, uh, 146 carries on the season, 901 yards with 13 touchdowns. Then for Michigan State, they have Berger with 80 carries, 367 yards, and 5 touchdowns. And then receiving yards, Ronnie Bell for Michigan, 35 receptions, 429 yards with 1 touchdown. And Coleman for Michigan State with 31 receptions, 393 yards, and 5 touchdowns. Coleman and Jaden Reed can be a lot of uh, jump balls, I think, to them in this game. So let's go ahead and get into some key notes and what to expect in this game. First of all, like I said, jump balls is going to be huge for Michigan State. I really believe Michigan State is going to throw a lot of deep balls, a lot of jump balls to their wide receivers, especially out of Jaden Reed and Kayon Coleman. And especially if they can't run the ball and they're not having success really, you know, with their passing attack, just expect them to throw the ball up and hope really. Um, but yeah, I just I think they're gonna definitely take a lot more deep shots in this one They have nothing to lose coming into this one their season is pretty much already over sitting at three and four Michigan However has everything to lose so uh, expect that for sure in this one now uh, Michigan is coming off a huge win over Penn State They rushed for over 419 yards against them and I expect them to dominate on the running game as well However, you know, I think Michigan will definitely pass the ball a little bit more um, I expect some more deep balls from them, especially against Michigan State's terrible secondary. And I just think Michigan, you know, they might have more success passing the ball against Michigan State because their passing defense is just atrocious this year. Michigan State coming off of their first conference, uh, Big Ten Conference win, uh, coming off of a win in double overtime against Wisconsin that they won it 34-28. to Looked a little bit better in that game. Um, against Wisconsin their defense got a little bit more pressure on Graham Mertz in that one and I think that might be a key thing here for their defense getting pressure on JJ McCarthy when he sets back and passes the ball they're also going to have to take in his running game as well uh, with the read option maybe but Michigan State if they want a chance to stay in this game getting pressure on the quarterback and stopping the run is going to be huge uh, however, it's way easier said than done. Excited to see Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards in this game as well. They came off a great game against Penn State. Like I said, 419 yards rushing, and uh, they both had two touchdowns, four touchdowns combined by the two of them against Penn State. Now, going back to the jump balls for Michigan State, I just want to say they had like five or six of them that I saw against Wisconsin where they completed these deep uh, jump balls, including one for the win to Jaden Reed. And they had like almost two or three of them to Coleman. So like I said, you know, that could definitely be a huge impact on this game for Michigan State, at least for them offensively. And obviously for both teams, don't want to make many mistakes especially for Michigan they have everything to lose so they can't afford to make mistakes especially if it's close it is a rivalry game so uh, you know obviously rivalry games they seem to be closer but I really think Michigan should be able to blow this Michigan State team out um, 
the talent gap is definitely there. Michigan has a lot more talent this year than them. However, I will say Michigan State is playing their best football up to this point, I think, after beating Wisconsin. So, you know, Michigan State is definitely going to be playing their best football against Michigan. They always do. They, uh, act like it's the Super Bowl almost every single year against Michigan and they're always you know up and ready for uh, the team in Ann Arbor so uh, with all that being said though that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video let me know down in the comment section below how you guys think this game will go will Michigan cover the spread it is 22 and a half might be a lot um, but let me know in the comment section your guys's score predictions I'm not gonna give one but I do think Michigan will definitely win this one probably by two touchdowns or more and uh, other than that I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please drop a like subscribe for more I really appreciate it and you might as well turn on that post notification bell while you're at it and other than that I hope you all have a great rest of your day we'll see you guys in the next video peace